Every brother was caught in the crossfire Lady and the Tramp is a new film and new Disney live action film to come out recently. It is on the Disney Plus streaming service, so if you have Disney Plus, you can check it out there. It was not released really theatrically, as far as I know of. And tell the story about Lady having to come to terms with a baby coming into her family. She was adopted by this family and was loved for so many years and when this new baby came into her life she feel like she's being forgotten and when she somehow finds herself lost into the outdoors into the free land of the dogs she comes across a tramp who shows her around the place gets her to know everything around her and how dogs live in different ways than she does and they both fall start falling in love and are trying to figure out how to work out their relationship and feelings that they're having towards each other this is a pretty divisive movie for me because i do think there's a lot of good here in this movie most notably the voice work by tessa thompson and I forgot who, who played the tramp. I'm terrible with names. But they both did a great job in this movie. And all the other voice actors for the supporting roles were great. This movie does have a few fun musical moments. It does have pretty good cinematography and camera work and direction. The production design is always great. It's a Disney movie, so you're bound to have great production designs. And it feels unique. It's colorful. And just overall, in a filmmaking standpoint, it's fine. But recently with Disney movies, and this continues on with this one, the story is lackluster. And we have seen this in the first movie, in the original. And... This movie just lacks that same heart. It doesn't feel like a copy and paste complete. Like The Lion King did. Like that's why I hate that movie so much. Like it just felt like copy and paste entirely. This movie just follows the same beats as the original. And there's just no surprises. And it doesn't have the ambition to do anything much new with this story. And I go back to Jungle Book. This that movie, while it has the same story, has completely different story beats. It just feels like its own thing, improving upon what worked and what didn't with the original. That is how you do a remake. That's one of the best remakes I've ever seen. And all the other Disney movies since hasn't been as great as the Jungle Book. And I still think this movie still lacks in comparison to that movie in terms of it, of making a coherent story and the original within the story itself. And there's just no magic, there's no flair, there's nothing for me to latch onto. The characters are already well realized in the original movie and they carry on the same way into this movie, but there's nothing much new to them also and I just did not feel single thing about any of the characters the voice work is fine and good and the humor is also pretty funny but there's just really nothing latching on to me in this one and I just end up for leaving just eh like I could live without it so for that reason I'm gonna give Lady and the Tramp a C plus not an awful movie, I could probably still recommend it if you're a fan of the original and you really love that first movie, you could probably check this out and make up your own opinion, but it just doesn't have that same magic and flair as that original movie does, and that's why I have to give it that mixed grade. Overall, 
These are my thoughts on the Lady and the Tramp remake. I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Heaven if you sent us there.